everyone in today's video we shall learn how to do this color box with text effects there are three examples as you can see so let's go ahead and uh, try to create them one by one and yeah let's get started so as for the first example it's just plain color and text and it is super super easy and for this what you need to know is just you need to know only one function and that is slash color box and inside the color box you just open a bracket and put in your color over here I shall give thistle so with thistle it gives you this nice purple color and after you're done uh, with the color box you want to again open a bracket and you want to type in something and it can be anything at all so I'm just going to replicate the example on the screen but literally you can put in anything at all so basically this is how you get the this is really nice purple color a uh, hedge so if your word is about five letters you go ahead and repeat this uh, four other times with different alphabets of course so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do that now So now I finished with the code, so let's go ahead and test it out. I'm going to go ahead and put in here, and let's go ahead and copy this, and paste it in this equation. And there we go. And I did not change the color, so let's go ahead and change the color as well, because let's keep it slightly different. Uh, let's give it salmon color and for this let's give blue ok that's bad um, let's give gray alright there we go let's go ahead and turn this into two ok so there we go so that's how you get this really nice box color box with uh, each letter or alphabet in it so yeah let's go ahead and get started with the second example and the function for this is slash f color box and you want to open the bracket and you want to put in a color and I'm going to give it blue and again you want to open another bracket and give it another color so basically blue is for the border or the outline and lavender is for the fill color so after this is done similar to the previous example where we just put in uh, the text directly you want to go ahead and do the same thing I'm going to put on H so this is all for the first alphabet H as you can see so you can go ahead and repeat this again so I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and just change the color let's go ahead and give this let's give it brown and tan and let's go ahead and change this as well to i so this is the end of the equation so similar to the previous example that is the fill color with text uh, you can repeat this for as many times as you like depending on the word if it is 5 if you have to do this for other times so let's go ahead and test this example out so let's go ahead and type in a word so let's copy this and try it on an equation and there we go So this is how you do a border color, a fill color and a text inside it. It looks really, really pretty cool if you ask me. So let's go ahead and learn how to do this border with text style effect in Notion. And the only function that you will ever need for this style is slash box. And as for function, you definitely need to open a bracket and type in anything uh, over here. I'm going to go for H. Uh, and yeah that's pretty much it you want to repeat this again so let's go ahead and do the same thing box and uh, y so 
this brings us to the end of the equation. So let's go ahead and test this equation out. I'm going to type a word, copy this, and paste it in here. And there we go. It's that simple. It looks really cool as well. So this is how you do this three different textiles in Notion, one with just color, uh, that is one with just the fill color, one with both the fill color and the border, and one with just the text inside the border. So that is really, really cool to do. And yeah, I hope you learned something from this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.